Hey, what do we see here? We see a point P that is plotted on a graph sheet. Now, can you tell me the location of this point? Now, before we begin, let me give you a couple of definitions. Now, this graph sheet, as you can see, is a square grid. And you can see a bottom edge there. This bottom edge is known as the x-axis. Now, you also see the left edge there. The left edge is known as the y-axis. And this plane of paper, that is this graph sheet, in which point P lies, is known as the coordinate plane. Now, let me draw two lines there. And what is the length of these two lines? 5 units and 7 units. Now, the perpendicular distance of a point from the y-axis is the x-coordinate of the point. So, what is the x-coordinate of the point here? You can see that point P is at a distance of 5 units from the y-axis. So, this means that the x-coordinate of point P is 5, right? And similarly, the perpendicular distance of the point from the x-axis is the y-coordinate of the point. So, you can see that point P lies at a distance of 7 units from the x-axis. So, what is its y-coordinate? Yes, that is 7. Now, we always write the coordinates of a point as the x-coordinate, comma, the y-coordinate. So, what are the coordinates of point P? Yes, 5, comma, 7. Simple. And last but not the least, remember that abscissa is another name for the x-coordinate, while ordinate is also another name for the y-coordinate.